How to use Binance Simple Earn Easy Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with Binance Simple Earn. So let's get into it. Now, Binance Simple Earn is a platform where you can go on ahead and use your IDLE tokens to earn rewards. You can lock them in a simple way or in a flexible deposit where you can just put in your token that you might not be using. Let's say you have, you know, some AVAX or some Matic tokens tokens that you're not using you just have them in your wallet you're just keeping them and instead of just leaving those in your wallet you can go ahead and put them in the binance simple earn to earn money or interest on your tokens it's kind of like putting your money in a savings account when you put it in a savings account you get a high interest yield or you get interest on it and simple earn follows the same principle it's a very low risk in comparison to other platforms like yielding or staking where you actually have you know more risks in Involved and you can get your money back whenever you want in flexible simple earn lockings so let's get into it now to get started you will have to create your Binance account so for your Binance account, first off, you need to just register using your email address. Then you will have to complete identity verification for you to be able to start trading. So this is super important. You need to complete personal identification. Without having your identity verified, you will not be able to trade or use the Binance features to their core. So it's very essential that you go on ahead and verify your account. Once you've done that, you have two options. If you already have a crypto wallet like MetaMask that you're using and you're storing your tokens over here then you can transfer your tokens from metamask to your binance wallet if you don't have any previous crypto tokens and you just want to buy tokens right now you can simply go into your wallet over here and go into your fiat or spot so you can go into fiat and spot over here fiat and spot means usdt or usd or bnb and what you're going to do is you're going to simply click on deposit over here and you're just going to deposit some fiat into your binance wallet so once you deposit fiat into your binance wallet so you will just click on continue over here and you're just going to enter the amount of fiat you want and then you will get busd and once you have busd you can go into your buy crypto section and trade that busd for any crypto token of your choice or you can simply go on ahead and go into buy crypto and go into credit slash debit card and directly buy the crypto token that you want from your credit card as well so that is another option on binance now i do have some detailed videos on how you can purchase tokens on binance and why i don't recommend direct buying why i always recommend going into the spot trading charts and buying from there simply because you will be able to get a lower purchase price when you do that however if you want to buy directly it's fine it's only a couple of dollars that you're going to be losing now to get started with the simple earn just head on over to the earn section over here and click on simple earn over here and you can see binance has quite a few different ways that you can earn money off of your tokens so i will be covering that later on now once you do that you can see the different tokens that are available there are over 328 simple earn products available on binance so you have quite the options to choose from now what is the difference between flexible and these numbers over here well flexible means you can get back your tokens when whenever you want them. And this is especially helpful if you don't have a lot of crypto tokens and you just want to try investments out or try out the simple earn features and you want to be able to take your money out whenever you want, take your crypto tokens out. That is going to be the flexible duration. If you are able to hold your crypto tokens for longer durations of time, if you have no long-term intentions of using that token or you don't need that token, then you can lock it in for a certain number of days. But keep in mind that once you lock it in for a certain number of days your crypto token will be inaccessible so you won't be able to get back your token before the duration is completed and this could be 21 days 30 60 90 120 so on and so forth now you also have different aprs which is going to be the different yields that you're getting this is basically a profit for solona if i lock it for 21 days the average estimated yield that i'm going to get is 15.9 now i would i would say that these aprs are usually pretty misleading depending on you know what kind of apr you expect from your token it can be a little misleading sometimes it's going to show you super high aprs but that is not the case oftentimes aprs are are you know a little more realistic they lie around five to fifteen percent somewhere between that but usually it's five to fifteen percent now 
All you have to do to get started with Simple Earn is choose the token that you have, the token that you are holding in your Binance wallet, and choose how long you want to lock it for. Let's say I want to lock my Solana for 21 days. Then I will simply click on subscribe on the right side of my screen. So you will see the Solana, the subscription amount. So over here, you will enter the number of tokens that you want to go on ahead and lock. And the available quota is one. So you can also see that there is a limitation or on how much of your tokens you can lock in these protected products so they want to diversify and Binance wants as many users as possible to be able to use these simple learn features so you might not be able to you know subscribe to the 21 day plan with 10 Solana tokens or 20 tokens because the available quota is the maximum number of tokens that you can lock so I can enter one over here that is actually the maximum number this is just a sample wallet so I don't have any crypto tokens in my account and you will be also be able to see the minimum amount of a token that you need to be able to subscribe. So the minimum amount is your 0 0.001 Solana. And once you do that, you can choose to auto subscribe or turn it off if you want. So you can choose to resubscribe to a product whenever the due date comes. Now on the right side of your screen, you will be able to see your subscription date, the value date, the interest end date, and the redemption date. So the redemption date is actually going to be the time where you're going to be able to re-access your crypto tokens and this will be the date when I will be able to get back to my crypto tokens and start using my crypto token again. So uh, keep that in mind whenever you are putting in your money in a simple earn solution or even in a staking solution or any other kind of earning feature on Binance or any other crypto platform. And then you will get your estimated APRs and you will continue to the terms of service and just click on confirm to confirm your simple earn on Binance. So that is how simple and easy it is. You can do that for any token however there is one caveat that i do like to keep in mind whenever i'm doing simple earn is that if i do it for a token that has super volatile pricing so let's say i lock in dogecoin or i lock in any token so let's say i lock in matic and the price for matic goes down while it was locked in my staking or locked in my uh simple earn then i won't be able to do anything as the price falls and i will simply be seeing my matic token become devalued and that is one of the cons of locking it in a longer duration however if it's in flexible locking you can take it out but if it's in like a 120 day lock and the price is falling for that token then the locking the apr that you're getting if the apr is higher than the price devaluation of your token you're going to be good but if your apr is lower than that then you're probably well you're not going to be losing your tokens but you are losing the value of your tokens so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video